Hey there everybody, this is Frothy Omen here. Um, today I just got a new 1440p monitor, all thanks to you guys. Thanks to um, a little bit of YouTube ad revenue, mostly from donations from uh, from viewers. So today we're making the upgrade from 1080p to 1440p. So I figured let's do a little bit of an, uh, an unboxing for this monitor, just to show you guys um, what you helped me get here. So let's, uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so here we have all of our stuff. Um, monitor right here. This, you know, each side of the panel was stuck into this little styrofoam thing in here. It just kind of slides right in like a little sleeve uh, for those that really care. Um, here we have our base, monitor base here. Some kind of little gadget. I don't know what this is yet. I haven't opened it. And a uh, box of goodies here. So let's see. It's probably cables, I'm assuming. Let's try one hand open this here. Let's see, we got TVI cable, power... Uh, Korean power cable, um, hopefully with an adapter of some sorts. Um, does this really not come with an adapter? What? Maybe that's. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, that's the, okay. So that's the that's the Korean plug to an American plug adapter. Okay. All right, good. So I can actually use. This. We're not so well. Okay. So we got all the cables that I need and. Uh, and so that's all that's in there. Let's um, let's get it unpacked out of the plastic and uh, see what it looks like as a real package here. Okay, so here is our finished product. Um, really not much to putting it together. Just, you know, one little thumb screw in the base here. I mean, obviously you can't see it's underneath the base, but the thumb screw that comes up from the bottom right in, into there, you know, you just kind of screw it right in and it attaches the whole monitor. So coming in from the back here, we have our, uh, let's see, my lighting is not the best. Let's try and spin this a little bit so we have a DC power in uh, let's refocus please there we go an audio um, audio in for the built-in speakers which I hear are terrible dual link DVI and that's it that's all for your inputs just so it's easier to uh, easier to overclock uh, easier for them to produce all that kind of stuff and there's all our plastic taken off for those of you who really want that here's our cables all put together with the adapter you got that stupid plug and then an adapter on it, so yeah, whatever. That's pretty much that. So next up, let's uh, let's get it plugged in, see how it looks. Okay, welcome to my very messy desk. Finally got the monitor all put up in the um, in the desk, so let's go ahead and turn the uh, turn the system on here. And let's see what happens. Yeah, we got a blue light. Okay, we got picture. That's good. This is good. This is good. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cover that up really quick, so while I type in my uh, password, in addition you don't see my name pop up. Woo! This is bright! This is so freaking bright, guys. My eyes are bleeding how bright this screen is. But it's working. It's booted. This is definitely 1440. Already. Yep. 2560 by 1440. Right there, updating Steam, but yeah, you can see the 1440. Look at all, oh my god, it, all my icons on my start bar barely take up uh, any of the screen. Jesus Christ, this is a this is beautiful, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't even know what to do first. I'm gonna open up Vegas. Let's do that. Let's open up Vegas first and let's see. Let's see. We're gonna go to Top Plays episode two just because I have a lot of tracks there. Let's see. Okay, guys, so now. Vegas is all booted up, and you can already see how um, I have to reorganize, like, you know, my preview windows and all that. Look at all that extra space all the way over here. Like, my screen used to end, like, right here, and it used to, like, stop, like, right about, maybe about there. Probably more, like, around there. Um, so, yeah, I can see all, I can have, I have a dozen tracks open right now. This is, this is just some basic editing from the top plays that I just put out today. Um, so you can see, like, all that real estate that I have now. So, um... Yeah, I guess next up, I don't even know what, what to even do. Like, I'm just so enamored by this screen. Let's go, let's just like cycle through some desktop background. You have some dogey, some doge there. And that's stretched out 1080. I don't have any 1440 um, native de desktop backgrounds. I suppose I should probably go get those, huh? All right, so I don't know what's coming up next. Maybe I'm gonna do some overclocking. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do overclocking next. Okay, welcome back everybody. Now we're going to be taking a look at overclocking for this new 1440p QNix monitor. Um, so I used custom resolution utility 1.1.2 by ToastyX. This was recommended to me by my friend named Rec. 
Uh, basically, what's going on here is you're just going to be editing registries within Windows to tell it to operate your monitor at a um, at a frequency that it's not reporting that it's able to accomplish to Windows. So basically, the monitor says, "Hey, I am a 1440p monitor capable of running 1440p at a maximum of 60 hertz," and that's what it reports to Windows. So that is the max refresh rate that it allows you to do. But you're able to very easily just change some registries within Windows and say, "Hey, you know what? I want you to try pushing 120 hertz to." This monitor and just kind of see what happens. So that's what this does. Is this resolution and or this this, this um, utility allows you to change that within Windows, and it doesn't immediately start you at 120 hertz or 108 or 90 or whatever you set. It'll still keep you at the standard 60. But if you go into your screen, right click, click ah, cannot speak today. <laughs> if you right click on your desktop and you go to your screen resolution, uh, you can go ahead and go to your advanced settings, go to your monitor. And you can go to your screen refresh rate drop down, and 60 hertz will be selected, but you'll have options for 90, 108, or 120, or whatever numbers that you so choose. And you can go ahead and pick whichever one you want and go to apply. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try to apply this 120. Apply. Well, it's already there. Let's try to apply um, like a 90. So we'll apply that. You want to keep these display settings, keep or revert. It seems to be working just fine to me, so I'm going to keep them. Uh, we'll go back to 120. Let's apply seems to be working okay we can keep changes and if you know for whatever reason your monitor does not take that high refresh rate your screen is simply gonna stay black for about 20 seconds and then it'll revert back to the last working um, the last working configuration so you go ahead I can just keep this a lot of all these and that's pretty much how custom resolution utility works um, you just need to once you make your resolution, you can just go into edit, change your timings. Um, I use LCD reduced. I know it says manual. I don't know why. I'm using LCD reduced. Uh, LCD standard was just not uh, was a little bit too fast for my monitor. Um, I couldn't quite keep up, and I was getting some graphical tear. Or um, I, I guess not graphical tearing, but like I was having like pink lines appear horizontally all the way across my monitor. Um, so that's no good. But using the LCD reduced, I've not had a single issue, so that's pretty much it. Um, only thing is that once you're done with these resolutions, you have all those slots filled up, um, and you OK out of it, you just need to reboot your computer to give it a shot every single time. It's not like the NVIDIA control panel, where you can just, you know, set something and, you know, and just be done with it and not have to reboot your computer. So it's just a different, um, a different kind of method of attacking the issue. Um, and I like CRU a little bit better just because I didn't get graphical issues like I did with NVIDIA's option. Uh, but anyways, I'll stop rambling. Next up, let's take a look at some Titanfall gameplay at 1440. Now, I would do Titanfall gameplay at 1440, 120Hz, but, you know, YouTube kind of limits me to 30fps no matter what I do. So, uh, you're just going to be seeing a little bit of random 1440 gameplay. Um, and I think that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... Thank you for, you know, for actually helping me get this monitor, you know, and help me produce nicer, better, uh, higher quality content for you guys, you know, because it's all about, it's all about being able to put a better product onto YouTube, and, um, I really hope that one day, uh, I will be able to go up to 60 FPS on YouTube, and, you know, I can give you some 1440 at high FPS kind of videos, and, uh, and you can really see how pretty and awesome the game really looks, um, it's really a treat. So anyways, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Take care.